Hello, I'm Amanda Rueda. I'm a senior product manager with GitLab in the plan stage. And today I wanna to walk you through a quick snippet of how you can use scope labels to power your workflow. So let me share my screen. Here we go. Okay, so in my demo account here, I'm on an issue, a development issue. Um, and I wanna point out that scope labels, you can differentiate them between regular labels and scope labels by seeing the little divider on the actual label pill. So how this has a driver in one color and expansion in another color, this is a scope label, whereas this is not a scope label. The difference is, um, you know, I'm differentiating between back end and front end, for example, I can add both to an issue because they're not scoped. Whereas if I want to add another workflow label on this issue, um, it will replace the existing. So scope label allows you to define a specific um, value for that particular um, step in the workflow. Um, and it allows you to kind of keep better uh, data integrity. So in order to add a scope label, you'll come over to manage and labels and you want to make sure that you're adding labels um, either at the group or the um, project level, wherever you add the label in the hierarchy, I can add it anywhere here in the hierarchy. Um, it will be available, that label will be available at that place that you've added it and below. So currently I'm adding it here in the Happy Corp dev, mobile dev um, project. I'm sorry, this is a group, yeah, project. If I added it to development, then it would be available to mobile as well. So think about who the labels should be available to when you're deciding where to add them. Um, and to create a new um, scope label, you simply kind of type your prefix and then two colons, and then you can um, finish that, select a color and select create. So coming back to um, the issue that I was in, here it is. So to add the scope label to the actual issue, you can select um, edit in the dropdown and labels are alphabetized. So um, you'll see clusters of labels if you have them scoped, right? So if they all have the same prefix, they'll be clustered and then alphabetized from there. Um, but as you type, the um, options available will then narrow to, um, to the available options. So workflow, let's say I'm currently in dev, let's say I'm ready for review. So I can select ready for review. Another way that you can add a label from the UI is through a quick action. So in the description, of the issue, if you're creating the description fresh, um, you can do the same quick action so that as you're creating the issue itself, you can apply all the labels um, at one time. Or if it's already created, you can come down to a comment and you simply type the forward slash label and then a little tilde, and then you can either pick from the returned list, but if you're like us and have a long list, you can start typing and then again, the list will um, the list will pop for you all of the available options. And then you simply comment and upon commenting, it changes that label for you. Now, why are scope labels helpful um, besides being able to pick a value? Um, on boards, you can then create boards by labels, especially uh, scope labels are very helpful. In this case, you're looking at a workflow board as you are, um, maybe you're in a standup or a planning session or a, um, a review session, you can drag and drop from one list to another. And you will see that when you do that, um, the label automatically updates to the place that you put it in. And this is the issues board, you can do the same on Epic's board. So here I have a board that is showing me all of the features or capabilities we're working on by business driver. So that last one was kind of like an execution workflow status. This one is segmenting by um, company initiative um, or company driver is a better word, adoption, expansion, and retention. So I can see the status of each of my projects or my initiatives um, by each of these drivers. 
And then the last thing I want to show you with um, labels that I think is helpful when you're in a view like this one, for example, um, this is an assignee view and you're just kind of looking at what's the status of things. Labels can cause a little bit of noise in that view. So go ahead and toggle those labels off um, to get a more concise um, view of what's happening so that you could see things like health status and weight. Um, and uh, yeah, that is all I wanted to show. If you have any questions, please hit me up at um, on any GitLab issue or Epic, Amanda Rueda is my handle and I will be happy to, uh, to help you. Thanks very much.